Okay, so this is the perfect time of year of this weekend to make a nice um, beefy comfort food kind of pot roast type of thing. So this is one of my favorites. Um, it's basically um, beef and beer recipe. Uh, and then you can throw in the veggies um, the last hour or so of cooking if you want, uh, or you can just leave them out and, and serve this, the beef and the, and the beer and the gravy over, you know, as is, um, great over rice or, or noodles or mashed potatoes. So the, the recipe starts with, you can either get a nice big chuck roast, and that's one of my um, big things with slow cooking, is if you are doing a roast, make sure to get a nice size one, like a nice five pounder or more of a beef chuck roast or a rump roast, or two, like two and a half, three pound roasts, because they really tend to shrink down, and you wanna make sure you've got enough for the family and maybe some leftovers to make, you know, use later in the week or turn into another recipe. So um, a good four, uh, three to four pounds of either cubed up uh, chuck roast or you can use the full roast. It's completely up to you how you want to do this. So we went to COPS and we uh, had the uh, meat department chunk this up for us um, and it, 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 it's going to be great either way. Uh, so the whole roast or you can chunk it up. And then to thicken that gravy, I'm using some flour and I just want to coat that beef or if you're doing the roast, you want to coat the roast with flour. And then you really want to season it well. If you're not taking the time to brown the beef, it's really important to season it well. I have some slow cooker recipes that, you know, if you've got a little extra time, you can um, brown the beef in some oil and then add it to your slow cooker. But most days, I'm just too busy for that. So um, the secret is, I've got a few secrets that I'll share with you, but in this case, tonight, get a nice thick gravy, coat it with flour, and then season it really well with salt and pepper. All right, at this point, here's my other secret. Slow cooker liners are amazing. Um, they just keep um, you from having to scrub that slow cooker, which is no fun. Um, that is one of the things that's not so fun about slow cooking is scrubbing the, the thing when it's all done. So, uh, you know, nowadays they have these, the crocks that just come removed right from the slow cooker. And then these liners, you can just pick them up right at the grocery store. They're in the aisle with the foil and the um, plastic wrap and that type of thing. Very inexpensive. They come four to a box or less than $2 or so a box. Um, and they make cleanup an absolute breeze. So at this point, we're gonna take the beef, the chunks of beef or the roast, whatever you choose, and throw it into our line slow cooker if you don't have the liners, you can just spray your um, slow cooker really well with cooking spray. That works too. So you see I'm left with some excess flour. Don't throw that out. We're actually going to use that. So at this point, I'm going to take two packets. I like a lot of gravy, um, a lot of dripping. So this is going to make um, some nice, nice amount of dripping. So two packets of brown gravy mix in there with the flour. This is just the dry envelope of gravy mix. And then beer. Now that's my other, one of my other big secrets um, when it comes to slow cooking. The liquid that you're cooking, whatever you're cooking, um, whether it be chicken or pork, or in this case, beef, really has to be a very, very flavorful braising liquid. Um, back in the day, I think that um, that's where slow cooking went a little bit wrong is when you know people would just dump some water in there and, and your roast and, and call it a day. Well, you're not left with a lot of really great flavor in that case. So um, I love to have a really flavorful braising liquid that in this case, this beef is gonna um, cook low and slow in all day long. Uh, so some of the, the things that I use are, um, I love to use wine in my slow cooking. Cream soups are fabulous. Cream of mushroom soup, cream of celery soup. Um, really season whatever you're doing like we did well. Uh, uh, beer is another great braising liquid. So rather than just water, think about other things um, that are really gonna work in your recipe um, and take this to a whole nother level. Uh, I do a German dinner in a slow cooker. And in that recipe, I use beer, 
and um, it's got some um, apple juice in it and things like that. So, you know, think about what you're making and think about the liquid that you can put in there. Uh, chicken stock, beef stock, um, just the box stuff really works way better and it's going to give you so much more flavor than just straight up water. Okay, so back to my excess flour, my two packets of dry uh, beef gravy, and now we've got some beer. This happens to be a really big bottle of beer, uh, but you just want pretty much like the standard 12 ounce bottle of beer. Any kind will do. Sometimes when I'm doing like St. Patty's Day or Irish cooking, I'll do an Irish beer, which is going to be a stronger flavor. In this case, this is just a regular, you know, Miller Lite. And I'm just whisking that together, just making sure that the flour and that gravy mix gets all combined. Oh, what the heck, we'll throw it all in. And the alcohol is going to cook off. Um, you're just going to be left with some really nice flavor. OK, so this gets dumped over the top. The lid goes on, and this is going to cook low and slow all day long. Um, you want this to, to it's, it needs a, a good eight hours or more. So this is the perfect recipe to start in the morning. Um, and, and, you know, the house is going to smell just fantastic when you walk in. Um, now, if I'm doing a, a roast, um, I really don't like to add the vegetables until the last hour or so of cooking. Now, you can. Don't get me wrong. If you know you're just going to have way too crazy of a day, you can certainly throw in the onion, the carrots, the celery, the potato in the morning um, and let it cook low and slow along with everything um, all day long. And, but what's, what's going to happen is they're really going to um, shrink down and they're going to get a little bit mushy on you. So if you can and you know you're going to be getting in the house about an hour before dinner, that's really the time to add your vegetables when it comes to slow cooking. So, you know, it's a great time to you know, throw in a little, a little laundry, check your email, and just wait that, that last hour. So um, here's our beef after it's cooked low and slow all day long. I just want to show you how tender it is. So you're either going to have a roast that's fall apart tender, or in this case being that we started with the chunks. And this gravy, see this gravy? The gravy is what really makes this an extra special, that brown gravy and then that beer that it braised in. So now we're going to add some, some, uh, some veg. So we've got some onion, just chopped up onion. And if you don't like any of these vegetables, just leave them out. I love to add some celery. Just chunk it up, throw it in. Some carrot. And some potatoes. The potatoes I do like to chunk up a little bit. And while I'm cutting these potatoes up, um, one reminder, well, a couple of things. First of all, Abby, do we have it? We have to say a very, very special happy birthday to my director and good friend, Greg Binns. Happy 60th birthday, Greg. We love, 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 love you. Um, and we, we couldn't do it without you. There's a lot of people or a team of people that make this show happen every day. And Greg is uh, one of the main dudes. Uh, he is the, the head hound show when it comes to that. And Greg and I have been working together um, for 23 years or something like that. So uh, anyway, a happy, happy, happy birthday, Greg. Love you dearly. Um, you make every morning a little bit brighter. So. I can't wait to celebrate. Big night out is when we're going to celebrate because Greg is going to be there. My producer, Abby, is going to be there. We're trying to talk Ann into coming. Uh, our big night out is coming up Monday, and there are still a, a couple of spots left. We just called on it, and there's just a few, a handful of spots left. Aliyah, the owner, says we can squeeze a, a couple more people in. So this is a five-course meal paired with your choice of beer or wines. Um, the, the menu is fantastic. Beef carp, or excuse me, salmon carpaccio is what we're starting with as an appetizer. Then we're doing a Greek chicken lemon soup. Um, my favorite, I'm excited about crab cakes with a salad. The main course is a pork asso buco, uh, and then with, served with polenta. And uh, the last course is a chocolate beer cupcake, which I um, got to sample one of those, and it was fantastic. Just 60 bucks per person. So this is a great way. Valentine's Day is next week. If you don't have anything going on, make your own date. Uh, 60 bucks per person. Did I get that right? And that includes everything, the tip um, and the whole deal. So call today to reserve your spot. Um, not many spots left. The number to call is, can I read that? 920-364-9900. Three, one. Um, it's going to be a really fun time, uh, so I hope to see you there on Monday night.
All right, just finishing up the vegetables that are going to go in with my beef and beer that's been cooking all, all along. I'm throwing those vegetables in the last hour to two of cooking. If you put it on high at this point, they should be done in about an hour or so, if, especially if you, you know, chunk up those potatoes a little bit, make them a little bit smaller. So what we're going to do is let these vegetables hang out and do their thing, and we will get back to this wonderful beef and beer in the slow cooker um, at the end of the show when the vegetables are all cooked. And if you're looking for this recipe, and a lot of my recipes now, you can now get them at um, any area cops food store. So just stop by the service desk and um, ask them for Amy's recipes, and they will have them right there for you. Or you can always get them on our website. Coming up, some more fun slow cooker recipes. We are making two different soups in the slow cooker and some make-ahead freezer meals too. So stay with us, we'll be back.